Today I will demonstrate how to resolve 90% of common ski data issue based on the equipment generation using a coder. We are a North American company who specializes in parking technology and collaborate with all major parking equipment. Based on our experience, we feel confident to say that Skidata is amongst the best in the parking industry out there. As an Austrian product, Skidata exemplifies world-renowned engineering and manufacturing quality. Today, I'll show you how to fix these three most common problem experience with Skidata equipment. You'll know how to address these issues and so prevent them from reoccurring. This should resolve nearly 90% of situation that disrupts your car park flow of operation. Let's begin with the engineering behind their main component, the coder. The coder is central to all ski data equipment that uses any ticket related operation, including entry column, exit column, automatic pay station, and coding station. It serves as the brain of the device and is the primary reason for the reliability and performance of ski data equipment. However, it's also responsible for 90% of all experience issues. Therefore, maintaining a coder in optimal operation condition is crucial. When it comes to ticket insertion, one of the main function of the coder is to detect the emplacement of the ticket via an opto sensor and prisms. The opto sensor and prisms are simply put a beam cell. They're very similar to a garage door safety beam cell. There's a laser sent from the opto sensor that reflects inside the prism back to the sensor. Once the ticket breaks the laser, the coder knows where the ticket is and causes a sequence of action based on the operation requirement. For example, swallowing a ticket at the exit, spinning out a ticket at the entrance, amongst other options. When you have a ticket jam alert, it means that the opto sensor is detecting a ticket during a sequence when no ticket should be present. For example, when you press the button for a ticket emission at the entry column, the coder initiates a sequence of mechanical operation, puts a blank ticket from the feeder, brings it into the printing thermal head section, moves it to the barcode scanner, and finally spits it out for the client to take. If the coder detects any of its prism being occupied, Skidata then activates a function to spin all the wheels inside the coder, effectively pushing out any leftover ticket or paper automatically. However, if you have received a ticket jam error message on the control center, it means the safety sequence didn't resolve the blocked prism. In this case, you'll need to manually inspect the coder. This is where we come in today. The coder is composed of two main parts, the coder and the feeder. The coder is the principal component that performs most of the work. The feeder role is to feed ticket and park ticket when payment is required allowing the client to insert validation, rebate ticket, whatever. The coder has two mouths, the front, which holds the barcode scanner, and the back, which holds the thermal head. There's a common path that connects both coder and feeder operated by gears and sensor in order to sequence every step of the operation. Now that the logic behind the ticket travel and how the coder follows the ticket via its prism is explained, let's attend the matter of a ticket jam. So we know that the prism is responsible for the ticket jam. So if the safety sequence did not resolve the ticket jam by spinning the motors, this means that either there's a ticket very much jam or something less obvious is causing the prism to constantly break the laser. Regardless, a manual intervention is required. Step one, once on site, always assure to turn off the power of the equipment. If there's something you need to remember from this video, it's to turn off the power before touching anything, especially if you're not used to handling this equipment. Once power off, you can look at both front and back mouth of the coder and upper and lower flap of the feeder to see if the jam is obvious by opening them with their dedicated lever. If there's nothing obvious, it suggests that the prism is being obstructing, causing the laser to not reflect properly. This simply means you need to clean the prism. We use isopropyl alcohol. It's a great solution to clean electronical component due to its high evaporation and dissolving attribute. Remove the coder using the designated green lever. This is where power must be off on the equipment. To clean the prism, you'll need to push it out of its socket. We use a Q-tip. The Q-tip is gentle and cushioned, but you need to be careful when pushing the prism out so you don't crack it. Once it's out, dunk it in the body of isopropyl alcohol and dry it out. Be careful not to smudge the glass of the prism with your finger when placing it back. Best to clean your hand before manipulation. Push it back in its designated place on the coder. FYI, all prism are the same, so the order and emplacement in the coder doesn't really matter. 
Once the prisms are clean and back in place, take a second to dip your Q-tip and clean the opto sensor, because why not? Place back the coder in its designated spot. Again, crucial that the power is off. This will spike your coder if the power is still on. Make sure the coder is correctly positioned. The four tracks are engaged. The connection with the feeder should be straight and perfect. Do not force the lever. Simply push on the coder frame. If you see the lever move by itself, you're good. Lock in the lever, you can now power up your column. Once the coder booting sequence is done, it's time to test. Force the loop by pressing the test button and do a test. At the entrance, take a ticket. At the exit, insert a ticket to see if it swallows. This should resolve most of your ticket jam. Reading a ticket inserted or printed with the SCIDATA equipment is the sole responsibility of the barcode scanner. This means that every problem related to a ticket not being read correctly is the responsibility of the barcode scanner. The process is that the scanner has to read a minimum of give and take 2 mm lengthwise of the barcode in order to process the information. That means that if the scanner is blocked and cannot read a full length, ticket unreadable. The barcode scanner is located on the front mouth and is the first major component to receive a ticket. With that logic, it's the first one to get dirty by, example, dirty tickets, heavy wind and water infiltration, slush, splashes, coffee drenched tickets, you name it. The components in general are built robustly with ski data. Most of the time, when you get the unreadable ticket message on the column, it's the barcode scanner simply being dirty. The control center will tell you if the barcode scanner is electronically deficient. If you have no red alert message stating so, it's most probably just dirty. Here's how to resolve this issue. Once on site, always assure to turn off the equipment. When the power is off, open the front mouth. You will have to open the back mouth just so you have more room to maneuver. The problem will be obvious at this point. A big smudge, bubble gum, dirt, fog, whatever. It'll be visible on the barcode window. Isopropyl alcohol plus Q-tip. Clean the window. You could technically use your finger if you're in a rush. Problem solved. Like any electronic, most problems are fixable with a reboot. Skidata obviously knows this and gave that option remotely. It's called Coder Config in Technician Lingo, reconfiguration of coding unit being the actual function name. Quite honestly, it's the first thing we do when a problem is reported. This Coder Config will force the coding unit to reboot, recalibrate, but mostly spin all of its motor, gears, and belt. So simple and yet so effective. If a ticket is stuck for whatever reason, it'll get flushed out. Sensor will recalibrate and the column CPU will reboot. This operation takes about 40 seconds give and take, depending on the network connection speed with the SCIDATA DAU server. The column screen will reboot and show an hourglass during the operation. No ticket can be taken or inserted. Once it's completed, the equipment will be back in action. Keep this sequence in mind if launching remotely and the car park is still operational. This may cause frustration to the client in front of the equipment without any instruction. This function is accessible via main menu, system device, edit, reconfiguration of the coding unit. Depending on your local SCIDATA distributor, this option could be grayed out and not accessible with your logging access. If you ask your local distributor, he can declare it as a technician tool. It's really up to you to insist on being able to use it. At the end of the day, it's your system. This option cannot break anything. It's a simple reboot. The coder config is the first thing we do when a problem rises. As mentioned earlier, the reboot resolves a lot of problems with electronic devices. Due to its recalibration, it might even show the real problem. For example, ticket jam, barcode scanner defective, thermal head defective, etc. This concludes our video. My hope is that this will assist you in managing your greatly engineered ski data parking equipment. If you require any support or have any inquiry, feel free to contact us directly. Good luck and thank you.